Hi, I'm John Galfano. I'm a headshot photographer in Seattle, Washington, and this is Photography Tips for the Headshot Crew. All right guys, so this episode is gonna be about getting a perfectly white background in camera. Um, you, you don't need a ton of space for this. I know that there's some folks that are talking about, you know, I don't have a big space and, you know, I don't have a huge space and I'll show you a video maybe a little bit later of my old studio that's right next door. That was, the whole space was about 450 square feet and I was only shooting in half of it. So, all right, so I wanna, I wanna show you the distance that I'm set up with. My background lights are, I'm using two of them. They're these Alien B 400s. They're really low wattage. They're like 160 watt seconds. And they are about five, five and a half feet away from the background. Now I got two of them and they're sort of crossing. This one's sort of pointing at that side and that one's crossing and coming back. So they sort of cross and meet in the middle and it gets me a pretty solid, even spread across the background. Um, my subject, Brenda, is <laughs> about nine feet from the background, and my lights are roughly 10 feet from the background. So if you have 10 feet or 12 feet, because you need a place to be, um, if you're shooting in a small space, you can totally do this, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so um, white backgrounds. What I want you to do first Okay, we're gonna sort of build this up in stages and we're gonna talk about um, your person's exposure first. So I've already got my exposure for Brenda dialed in, okay, on a gray background, come take a look. Gray background, gray background, Brenda's hanging out, um, doing great. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go and turn my background lights on. I'm gonna start them at a low power and I'm gonna bring them up and I'm gonna show you the, the white values on the laptop so you can see as we go, we're gonna bring it up to white, but not go crazy and blow it out super white. Okay, so I've turned my background lights on, and I've got them about 16th power on both of them. I'm gonna take a shot, and I'm gonna show you the laptop, and we'll see where we're at. Good, hold that, hold that. Good shot, hold it. Nice job. Okay, come take a look at the monitor. So I have a dark gray, medium gray background. That's not what I want. I'm going for pure white. So I'm gonna slowly bring my power on my background lights up and we'll take another shot. Okay, so now I brought my power on my background lights up to a quarter power and we'll see what happens. Good, go nose this way. Good, hold on. Nice shot. All right, come look. Let's take a look. We'll see where we're at. How close are we? Okay, we're getting there, right? We're getting there. What I want you to see, come in close, and I want you to see these numbers up here in Capture One. So as I move my cursor around, uh, I'm getting a value on my background. So really I'm focusing on my red channel, and I'm 218, I'm looking for about 252. Okay, so this is not pure white. If I go to my highlight warning um, and turn it on, nothing is blown out, so that is not pure white. I'm gonna turn my power up again, and we'll take another picture and see where we're at. Okay, I've turned my lights up again. I'm at half power and this should be pretty good because I know my lights. Um, this should be a perfectly white background, so let's see. Good, hold, hang on. Go chin down a smidge. Good, hold that, nice shot. All right, let's take a look. See what we got. Okay, my white background, let me turn my highlight warning on so you guys can see this. Um, I'm pretty darn good, okay? I want white, but I don't want crazy, ridiculous, extreme white, like everywhere. So like, for example, over here, I'm at 248, 249, 250, 251, 252, 253. This is pretty dang good. I'm at 254, 255, 253. This is absolutely perfect. This is exactly what I want because all of this, it's not so bright white that I'm getting flare back into the camera. It's white, but it's just white. Anything else, like my light source, my softbox, that all gets painted out. I can take a white paintbrush and paint that completely out and that's gone. 
I can extend the background over to make it pure white, whatever I need to do, even like a small tick in Photoshop of a levels adjustment on the highlight side will make that background completely white. I hope that helps. Any questions, let me know, and we'll see you next time. All right, well, what do we got? All right. <clears throat> okay, my, here, let me do this first. Here's a little tour of my studio. My studio, okay? I'm like less than 500 square feet, dude. Um, I'm on the second floor of this office building. It's basically, my ceiling height is okay. Um, it's basically just a really tiny office. I mean, it might even be a storage room. I don't know, but I got one window. Um, here, I'll go over by the door. This is it, man. Makeup table, some storage, and that's it. All right. Now, these are like my background. Here, let me do this first. Let me, let me just do this. Um, these my background lights. I'll give you all, all the measurements first. These are four and a half feet from the background. Okay? And they're hanging out right there. These, my main lights, are roughly eight and a half feet. I think nine feet is kind of back in here somewhere, but that really doesn't count. But basically from the source is eight and a half feet, okay? Um, these are these cheapy Alien B400s, and my power settings on both of them is that. It's like between a quarter and a half. They're kind of crossing, right? This one's kind of going that way. That one's coming back this way. So they cross and they fill up the whole background um, pretty good.